Well, in the last couple of videos, we established TCP IP and MPI communication between WinCC SCADA and Siemens A7 PLC. Well, in this video, I will be briefly explaining about the Profibus communication between the WinCC SCADA and Siemens A7 PLC. Well, this is the hardware configuration of the Siemens S7400 PLC. The Rake 0 in slot number 3 has the CPU 4163DB. This is the 400 PLC by Siemens S7 family, right? So let's go to the WinCC. It is already opened. Go to the Tag Management section and under the Profibus section, you will first of all set the system parameters. Well, the CP type slash bus profile is Profibus or well, the logical device name in my case since I'm using a simulator by uh, PLC SIM it is the PLC SIM Profibus in my case but if you have the actual PC adapter of the Profibus you will select this one right or if you have CP5512 you can use this one right but in my case I'm using the Profibus simulator click OK Create new connection. The project is in the runtime. This is why the name cannot be changed. So simply deactivate the project. Well, the project has been deactivated. Go to the tag management again and rename the Profibus communication name. In the hardware configuration, DI-16, this is the 16 channel digital input card E24 volt go to tag management again and I will be accessing the I0.3 for example I0.3 right edit symbols I0.3 I will be accessing this one in the tag management section of the WinCC this is the binary tag change its name to binary the connection name is profibus.com as I have written here and the address is I0.3 input 0 and 0 0.3 and that's it now you have entered the specific tag into the tag management section of the WinCC for accessing it into the WinCC go to the runtime Well, when I go to runtime, I can see here that the Profibus uh, communication is not actually established, it is red. So where did I went wrong? Where did I go wrong? I will set the connection parameters. Well, the slot number is 3 because the rack number is 0 and the slot 3 has actually the PLC CPU. I will click OK and now the connection has been established. Boom. Now, just for demonstration purpose, whether the status of I0.3 is displayed on the graphic designer, I will simply connect it to a rectangle that is flashing or changing its color according to the status of this digital input signal. Go to the graphics designer and in the graphics designer, go to any page, right? For example, container 11 I have already opened it let's bring a rectangle change its color according to the status of the I0.3 I will set the global color scheme to no. It's it's important for this rectangle to, to change its color according to your 
setting well the background color I will simply click here dynamic dialog boolean I will import the TIG that I have already entered semantic S7 protocol and profibus connection switch one okay now if it is high it will be letting for example blue and if it is low it will be changing its color to this one right so if you you can have check no error occurred so everything is okay right save and go to the project runtime container one it, well the color is according to the low state of the digital input signal right go to the semantic simulator s7 plcm simulator it is the profibus simulator in this case put the plc to the run mode and now i will change i0.3 and once i change i0.3 to high you can go to the hardware configuration and in the hardware configuration i will monitor this digital input card i0.3 is high right and in the graphics designer i have made the settings that whenever i0.3 is high this will change its color to this light blue color right so change the status of this digital input channel to low and it will be reverted again right so this was a simple test of avian cc scada communication with the simmons s7 plc through profibus that's all for now see you in the next video if you have any question you can surely ask me in the comment section bye for now